Here's the first set of doors in a house where I repaired 12 doors. Look at this set of interior double doors. Look at that. They don't close. They don't work. Look at that left door is a quarter inch taller than the right door. Nothing is a lot. You can't shut them. And even if you do shut them, they don't stay shut. They've got ball catches on the top that do not engage. What would you do if you saw something like this? Look at that ball catch. It's not even recessed, it's just sitting on the top of the door. You can't shut the doors. The, bottom, the tops are misaligned and the bottom of the right door rubs on the floor. These things are a mess. Think about it, what would you do? I'm gonna show you the best, most effective way to repair these. I've been doing this for 15 years. There isn't anything about doors I don't know. Look at that big gap there. We're gonna make everything work perfectly. And all the idiots are going to tell me that I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and then when you look at their channels, you'll see they don't make videos. They don't post videos. They just make angry comments about videos. Follow me, kids, and learn how to fix doors. When you're working on double doors, it's best to work one door at a time. Pick the door that looks the best and start there. Get that one working. This door on the left actually looks pretty good even though the ball catch doesn't work the alignment looks nice and it's got a nice gap on the top so we're going to leave that one alone so we're going to work on the right door we're going to take out the ball catches first get those out of the way we'll save that for the end let's get this right door working first thing we want to do is to try to raise the top left of the door to get rid of that giant gap and we could do that by moving the top of the door to the right. So there's a couple ways to do that. It's very effective and easy to move doors using hidden shims. We could tilt the hinge using these hinge shims, but in this situation, we can't do it because see that hinge is right up against that casing. So we cannot move the hinge. So one option is to simply mortise the hinge deeper. That will pull the door to the right. So I use the router to mortise this hinge almost a quarter inch. It's like two hinge thicknesses in there. You might think that looks terrible, but when we mount the door, it's gonna look normal because we just have an unusual shape here. The house has shifted, the framing has shifted, and this is gonna solve the problem. So let's mount this hinge here, rehang the door and see how it looks. And while I had the door off, I mortised the area for the ball catch. So the ball catch will recess into the door and be flush with the door and it won't be sticking out and looking so stupid. And so awful. now I have the door rehung and look at that gap. That looks normal. That looks perfect. Look at that top. Still not great up there. I could do a little bit better. But look at the side, you'd have no idea we mortised that hinge so deep. So now when we close the door, look at this. They can actually close. Look how much better that is. They're still not even. Many guys would leave it like that and many homeowners would accept that. I do not, I have higher standards. So we're gonna go next level. I'm going to plane the hinge side of the right door so that it'll be an eighth inch smaller so we have a nice gap between the two doors. I'm also gonna plane the top of the door to get rid of that crazy angle. That way we can raise the door an eighth inch, rehang it, and see how it looks. Got the right door ball catch recessed and reinstalled, working perfectly. On the left door, we reinstalled that ball catch, but it didn't even line up, it wasn't even close. So we had to move the strike plate on the top jam. And after an adjustment, it works perfectly. Look at these doors. Look at that perfect alignment and gaps. We started with this, we finished with this. Now, all of you haters, tell me how much better you are than me. Tell me how much I suck and don't know anything about doors as you post your videos of, of anime and video games. Thanks for watching everyone. It's my pleasure to help you.